Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. The groove that you just heard me play is based on an Afro-Cuban rhythm called the Bembe. This is a slightly funkier version and this is a version that I've been teaching some students just recently based on a double paradiddle. So that's a double paradiddle played as triplets. So let's get stuck into this. So the first thing you should be able to do is to play a double paradiddle as triplets. So if you're counting one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, the sticking would be Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. I'm going to play that on the snare drum for you and I'm going to put an accent on beat one and on beat three. One, two, three, four. The next step in building this groove is to move the right hand over to the ride cymbal. So I'm going to play the right hand on the ride cymbal bell and the left hand's going to stay on the snare drum. I'm going to ghost all the notes that are not accented on the snare drum. That will sound like this. One, two, three, four. And just to begin with, I'm going to put a bass drum on beat one of the bar. Let's have a listen. One, two, three, four. What I'll do now is play the right hand part in isolation and I'm going to add quarter notes to the left foot so that you could hear the time against the right cymbal part. One, two, three, four. So in order to turn this into a bembe bell pattern, we do need to add one note at the very end of the bar. So that'll be the four and ah. So this is what we get. One, two, three, four. So if I reinstate the left hand from the double paradiddle, there will be a unison on the very last note of that bar. That'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. So essentially it's a double paradiddle except now we've got one unison note at the very end of the bar. So let's continue developing this idea. What I'm going to do is add a tom. So I'm going to play the first tom with my left hand and that tom will occur on the three and a, uh, which is the left hand after the backbeat. This is what we get. One, two, three, four. We can also add toms to the double. So right at the very end of the bar, we've got two left hand strokes. Now, if you're playing a four piece kit, you know, a one up, one down setup, you can play the double with your left hand on the floor tom. That will sound like this. One, two, three, four. One thing I like to do with that double is actually split it between two toms. I've seen Vinnie Colaiuta do this. So what I'll do is I'll play that double between the second rack tom and my floor tom. One, two, three, four. Then 
there are a few other things that we can do with the bass drum. So for example, I'm just playing the bass drum on beat one, but I can use my bass drum in a way where it's basically just doubling some of the right hand strokes. So for example, let's play the first two right hand strokes with the bass drum. This is what we get. One, two, three, four. We can add even more bass drum notes. We can just use the right foot to follow the right hand. Let's try a few. One, two, three, four. One other neat little embellishment that I've heard some drummers play, particularly Vinny Colaiuta, I've heard him play, is to add a sneaky double, so uh, two sixteenth notes in the middle of beat three. So if I was going to play that on the snare drum for you, it would sound like this. One, two, three and a four and a... So I'm going to put that right hand back on the cymbal, I'm going to play the whole groove again, but I'm going to throw that sneaky double in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now if you're feeling adventurous and you've got good bass drum chops, you can actually double that sneaky double on the ride cymbal with two sixteenth notes on the kick. Let's have a listen to that. One, two, three, four. Now the first drummer I ever heard play this type of groove was Steve Gadd and I've heard him play this with artists such as uh, Al Demiola, Al Jarreau, uh, Lee Rittenauer, there's a whole bunch of tracks where he's kind of made this groove a bit of a signature. So I would suggest that you check out his versions of these grooves as well and then you'll hear drummers like Dave Weckl, Vinnie Colaiuta, any number of drummers take this. But traditionally the bell pattern comes from an Afro-Cuban rhythm called the bembe and then this is kind of like a modern funkier adaptation of that using a double paradiddle. Now if you want to download the PDF that accompanies this video I'm going to leave that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this is something that you could use and certainly something that you can have a lot of fun with. And uh, if you liked it, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video, which is every week. So until next week, have a great week, happy practice, have fun with this groove, and I'll see you all next week. I'll do that again. I'll do that again too. So, so it's a, so it's it's. <laughs> uh, what do I usually say?